Hello, hello, lads and girls. This is Lord Kicker, and welcome back to another episode of Use 8 Lacrimosa of Donna. Alright, are we ready for this? Oh. Oh, coconut. Cool. You're not staying down for long though, are you? Nope. There he is coming back up. Well, that almost means it's a waste of time to try and kill them. Chips log too. There is an old scrap of paper inside a chest. Is this? It appears to be another entry from the captain from Captain Reed's log. What does it say? Before I reach the Isle of Sarene, I must reveal the truth regarding the scoring by fire the Archipelag's village. None were spared, certainly not the men. But women and children a victim just as surely. The people cursed in the name of Captain Reed and blame me for these heinous acts. But I tell you, I am innocent. Gelferia is ruled mostly by victims of the slave trade, including myself. It seems the Ortis did, no, did not appreciate us banding together and fighting and impicitate the uh, slaves that we could all stand free. The people of the Archipelag accepted us and even took to calling us the Pirates of Justice. Truly kind folk they were. And just as truly, it was the men of Greek's navy who put the village to torch. Word later reached my ears that they did this to draw us out, to purge the gate sea of our ilk. I'd sooner wallow in a horse manure for a hundred a days than obey those so twisted sins of justice. But the people have suffered enough, and I would trouble them no further. After giving it much thought, I have decided to go to the naval headquarters and turn myself in. The entry ends here. No way. Is that really what happened? So Captain Reed was a former slave himself, and his goal was to liberate other slaves. Now I get it. What do you mean, Sad? The name of the ship is the Alfaria, it means freedom in the Grishun tongue. Always wondered why the dreaded Captain Reed named his ship that. I heard there was a period in Greek's history in which they flourished 
through the slave trade. Perhaps he shows that name for his ship in order to send them a message. According to this log, he turned himself in out of concern for the safety of innocents. He sounds like an honorable man. I am. The creepy feeling is gone now. Shall we continue on then? Oh, pumpkins! Alright, I guess we'll keep going down. Um, hello. Pirate's recipe obtained. Okay, cool. Alright, got myself some more ore. Okay, ship's log three. There is an old scrap of paper inside the chest. Huh? This looks like the rest of Captain Reed's log. Read it, read it! I want to know what happened to Reed. Settle down, Squirt. Um, let me see here. I am held captive. The Navy has sent a strange bearded pig. To visit me. I did not think the Navy to keep a pet for himself, nor defer to it as captain. For all its brutish smell, it spoke with words like a man and told me that I wanted. That it wanted to negotiate. It instructed me to investigate an island where none have been able to safely approach. Yes, the infamous Isle of Cyrene. In exchange for investigating the island and returning alive, it would graciously release my entire crew from incarceration. I've always had a gift for spotting a lie. Liar. By observing faces. And I don't trust that grotesque swine to keep its promise for a moment. But I had... Had I refused, I believe it would have kept its other promise to hang my crew. Truly, we live in a mad times. It reminded myself that I wanted to be a good man and agreed to be the pig's lick split. And so I find myself, therefore, the Isle of Sarene. So Captain Reed did come to the Isle of Sarene. Yeah, that's what it sounds like. Gotta say, this Captain Reed seems like a pretty... ...press fella. That's rich coming from you. Even so... ...his anguish... ...is helped. And you can tell... ...he was mainly concerned for his crew. 
He was made the scapegoat of crimes he never committed, then used as a pawn. The people responsible for this past atrocity are a disgrace to the Greek Navy. Poor Reed. If word got out about this, it could cause problems. As I recall, the Greek Navy has quite a sterling reputation. Both call them the glory of Greek on account of their tradition and discipline. Hm. Sometimes the darkest shadow are cast by the light of glory. Well, looks like we open up another gate. We can keep going down. For now, we should move on. Yeah. We've come this far already, so we might as well see this through. Ancient hide? Alright, hmm, I guess we keep going down. There's another chest there. Man, that is a disgusting thing. Hard fiber. Okay, so how do I get to that one? I'm guessing there is some secret passage somewhere. Iron knuckles obtained. Tomato seeds. Okay, doesn't seem like there's anything else here. Alright, there is another treasure chest. Mangoes. Alright, just... Scooting patch past you. And you. Okay, got myself a pumpkin. More treasure. Chips log at number four. Alright, let's read it. Man, a lot of reading today. Alright. Another entry from Reed's log. Let's read it. I have escaped the tentacles. Tentacle Titan and set foot on the island to begin investigating. Unfortunately, the Elfarian is crude. This time by naught but rabble barely worth their own weight in horsemore. The Navy picked these lot. They are criminals to a man and inexperienced beside. Obviously, not seasoned sailors would agree to come near the island, Isle of Sarene. But that changes nothing of this madness. One of the folks ought to mutiny 
and take my ship. But I put the boat to him and send him into water. I have too many rebellious men to contend with. To say nothing of the beast of this island, I've not seen their like before. I'm continuing to investigate, but my progress is held back by some milady. Um, I am tired, and I believe a fever has taken hold of me. Loath as I am to admit it, I may be in peril. Once I'm done with my writing, I will take to my bed and attempt to rest. That's where it ends. Tentacle Titan. Does he mean the Oceanus? He must have been one hell of a sailor to make it ashore the ship in one piece. Still, it sounds like things took a turn for the worst after he arrived. Yes, he must have uh, contracted an illness. I wonder what happened to him in the end. Well, I guess we're gonna find out. Oh, I do not like that. I saw one of those stones there. The door opened. Let's keep going, at all. Well, you, you all of a sudden got very brave. Hello. Spooky, spooky skeleton. Well, uh, these fellas are gonna rise again, though, aren't they? Hearts Note 6. I've been told to investigate the Isle of Serene. Investigate the island. Captain's orders. I think that's all that kept me alive, really. But is there really a chance we'll get out of here with our lives? I don't know. I'll do as the captain says. I have to believe there's a chance. Man, poor guy. Not sure what the two of you are doing, but... There we go, that should keep you outside. Well, guess they keep coming. Okay, um... Guess we're back out on deck. Uh, I do smell like a boss fight coming on though. Mostly because we got that stone in there. So I think I'm just going to end off this episode here. I do hope you have enjoyed it and I hope to see you all in the next one. Until then, bye bye.